Welcome to the Stalling My Way Open Collaboration. Hi guys, it's me, Debbie Bubbles. Welcome back to my channel and into the walls of my bedroom. Now you're probably wondering why the lights are down. It's getting ready to storm and I just came back here and sat on the bed to do my voiceover. So eh. anyway, y'all, tonight I am participating in and co-hosting in an open collaboration. This is an open collaboration which is hosted every single month. <laughs> it is the Stalling My Way collaboration. Host of this collaboration are the Grace Life DIY Home Decor and Tablescapes by Candy. Co-hosts are Deborah Cabasa Home Living, Decorating with Jazzy Green, Z9 Designs, Decorating with Emma, and me, Debbie Bubbles. Now y'all, all that's required for this collaboration is that you style, decorate, <laughs> DIY anything, any item, any room of your home, and then reveal it. And that's what I've done for you today. So you know what? If you want to see what I style, where I style it, then come on, let's go to the kitchen and I'll show you. Okay, y'all, I am going to be styling in a corner of my kitchen, not to be mistaken with the Cozy Corner or Vignette Collaboration, which is gonna be hosted on August the 26th. This is Styling My Way, but I am going to style a corner of my kitchen in my way. So I've cleared out this corner and I have now slid in the microwave. I hate microwave ovens. I absolutely hate them. I detest them unless they're sight unseen. If they're above the range, wonderful. But having them on the counter, I hate. But because my space is limited as far as that goes or I can't place it above the range, it's in the corner. So on top of the microwave, I have placed the cork board. And next I'm gonna come in with this little riser. It's broken. Actually, the top that you saw in my hand does not belong to it. It had a marble top. I purchased this in Ollie's last year for $9.99, but I dropped it and that marble top broke. So I'm gonna come in with this, which was the base to a hurricane that broke. <laughs> and I am going to affix it to that stand and make it into a riser. So I'm gonna use some double-sided tape to do so and then we'll carry right on. have tape on one part and I'm going in with that little stand pedestal and we're gonna apply pressure gotta apply the pressure <laughs> and once I have this taken care of y'all hey there we go that works out nicely I have multi-purposed or I have repurposed a couple of items that otherwise would have been thrown away I tend to hold on to things <laughs> maybe longer than I should and try to continue to use them maybe beyond where they are useful but I I find purpose in the broken things and I try to continue using them as long as I can so here I'm trying to decide if I want to use that stand that I've created or if I want to use this um, pioneer woman book cookbook stand that was gifted to me a while back and I don't know we'll see I don't I had no idea what I was gonna do as far as this styling goes and you know what that pioneer woman um, cookbook stand it also is broken <laughs> I don't know if I included the footage of me repairing it but I did <laughs> so it also needed a little repair it's kind of like me like I say y'all I am broken but I am still of use God still has use for me he is not done with me yet he's not done with you he's not done with any of us so there's always more to the story. We just gotta let those chapters play out. Now, I was trying to decide on a little plaque there in the background, or perhaps this Florida Lord Lee. And you know, I'm probably gonna go with the Florida Lee, right? Because, yeah, I'm that chick. <laughs> and speaking of chicks, <laughs> there's a rooster there. <laughs> that is a beautiful and very well framed painting from a local artist here in my city. That rooster painting along with several other paintings in my home were gifted to me by a really, really good friend of mine. And 
I love them. They're all gorgeous. And so I have found places for each of them in the home. Now, on top of that um, little riser stand I created, I have placed a faux plant green, some faux greenery. And now I'm going in with this taupey colored rosebud, a candle. There's a crown, of course. Now, I'm showing you these tortoise shell candlesticks. I thought about using them till I broke one. Well, it's been broken a few times and repaired and it has been repaired again <laughs> as of this filming. Y'all, I don't think I end up using it, but you'll have to see. Um, we're going to see how it goes or how it looks over here. Now you're going to see an orange corked bottle here in a little bit. I love those Dollar Tree corked bottles to house my um, dish liquid. And so I pick different color ones depending on the theme, the color theme and the season and the home or whatever. And so those that will house dish liquid here in a moment for the autumn season. Now we're ready for the reveal. Here it goes. So I bet it was not at all what you were expecting. <laughs> Y'all, I think it turned out really well nonetheless. Um, I can't wait till the cabinets are painted and until the rest of the kitchen is totally done because it is going to be really beautiful or it will be to me and my spouse and so that's what matters but y'all this is the finished product i'm not showing you the window or whatever window treatment may or may not be there there's so much that you're not seeing but you know what if you keep returning to my channel and watching my videos the content that i put out you will eventually see all of this home as it is received it's refresh as i have made it over from being a house and have made it into a home for my husband and myself. We enjoy this space. This is a safe place for us to land at the end of every day, as well as for those who sojourn into our home. So y'all, I hope you like my styling. I enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy it even more once I paint those cabinets and get the beautiful hardware that I purchased from Timu, y'all, <laughs> on there. And as I continue to make this house into a home, it is a blessing as it is. And I am well pleased with what is becoming. So y'all, please come back again. Continue to journey with me in this thing called life and YouTube and I promise you you'll always find love safety shelter and inspiration here have a good one God bless you bye bye for now